Hey guys, what's up? It's Mora, and welcome to part 8 of my walkthrough of Math Detective. So I have restored 7 landmarks, I've got 5 more to go, so let's begin this case by transporting to a new next villain hideout. Back to Dr. Depp's mine. Alright. Uh, this looks like something new, yep. Number one height. Ah, I'm sorry about that. I meant to click on the equal sign, which I didn't do. I guess that's a, a metal detector. All right, teriyaki's flat. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. So we get the landmark from her place here. After I collect all the passwords. Taller. Oh, so we're back to that subtraction, eh?
Oh, that's interesting. I recognize that tune of music. It's it plays at one point in case four of Wear in Time after going to one after I've gotten tilted the mirrors to game closer to Mirasaki's house that uh, each time you succeed in tilting the mirror the music changes. I think this musical piece is after I've uh um succeeded in turning the mirror in the uh, winter room the fall or winter room I really don't remember which one but it's one of those two well I guess that's fitting because this is Japan uh, just like that case in where in time took place in Japan so I guess they wanted to recycle it when I recognized it as a kid I was astonished <sighs> building uh i seen those couple of clues which aren't that helpful in description i think these are the patronas towers who is now another mail i email i get while at the uh villain's place that's holding the landmark power drain i can only guess that carmen's somehow behind it uh oh many fear the case could chaos could spread Velma and Ventress's cave.
which are the right angles. That's the easiest one to remember. That measures 90 degrees. And you have four right angles in squares and rectangles. That means the entire shape and interior of it measures 360 degrees. I know my geometry all too well. That's why I like this puzzle the most out of the others. Right angles, do I see? Four. Angles of right angle A F C. Yeah, I think uh, the Patronus Towers were complete in 1996. That's what that clue means. So I think that's what the landmark will be. And it's time for me to go. I uh, wonder what kind of primate this is, a chimp, an orangutan, and of course it's going to have malicious intentions in screeching these claws out towards me, but it won't get me. All right. There's that same music again from Where in Time, the Kate fourth case in Japan. Yep, the Patronus Towers, world's tallest buildings, although I think they're not the world's tallest buildings anymore. Oh, well, here she comes. Listen to that music, it sounds menacing, foreboding. Oh, she must be a martial artist or something, or an acrobat. Yes, an acrobat, perhaps, if she can do that. Alright, put the Patrona to Patronus Towers back. <laughs> All right. Uh so that's eight down, four to go, and because I've just completed the eighth case, now my password decoder has been upgraded to eight holders. And so here it ends, my part eight of my walkthrough of Math Detective. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this just as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now.